Hello. So in this amusement ride, we have a spinning drum and we have these people inside the drum who seem to defy gravity and they're just pinned against the walls of the spinning drum. If we look from the top here, then the view looks like this. So this is that person there, his head. And so this guy is actually uh, doing circular motion. So what could possibly provide the required centripetal force? Well, it has got to be the normal contact force between that person and the wall of the drum. So back to this view, so we know that the wall is exerting a normal contact force onto the person, providing the required centripetal force. But what is the force that is balancing the downward weight? It can only be the frictional force, right? So here comes the question. What is it that when the drum is not spinning, the frictional force will not be large enough to balance the downward weight? But if the drum is spinning fast enough, then ooh, the friction will be strong enough. Let's form those two equations. So horizontally, uh, we know the net force uh, is the required centripetal force. So the normal contact force is providing the required centripetal force, which we write as mR omega squared. Vertically, the net force should be zero, so the upward friction must be equal to the downward weight. Do you know that the frictional force is actually directly proportional to the normal contact force? So we can actually write friction as mu n, where mu is the coefficient of friction. It's just a constant between two surfaces. So you see, in order for friction to be large enough, we need the normal contact force to be large enough, which means we need the angular velocity to be large enough. So the drum must be spinning fast enough before the frictional force can be large enough to hold the weight of the person. Some students will ask, why should the normal contact force uh, increase as the drum spins faster? They ask, how come the drum is so smart that it knows what normal contact force to exert on the person? The answer is, the drum is just trying to stay intact. If it doesn't keep the person going in circular motion, it must mean that the person crashed through the wall of the drum. So the drum wants to keep its molecular structure, so it will just exert the right amount of force to keep the person going in circular motion rather than crash through it. Okay, that's all. Ta-ta!